I woke up in this strange world. I had no idea where I was. I freaked out for a little bit, then got down to business. From a quick survey of my surroundings, I determined that I was still in Newfound Beaverland. There was a bunch of spruce trees, a mossy ground, and it was pretty cold. I also heard a creek nearby, so I went to go investigate. It was an opportune place for a dam. It took me a day and a half to build a complete dam, but I still had one more problem. What was I going to get for food? I had been surviving off of trees, but I need meat if I want to survive. I decided to search the streams to see if I could find some fish. Luckily, I found a good population of what I think is brook trout. I built an intricate trap that was technically a water snare for fish. It worked really well. Then I had to find a way to preserve the fish for winter, because I remember that when I left, it was around the end of November. So I went with smoking them. To smoke the fish, I needed a fire and a hut to smoke them in. I made a fire rubbing two sticks together. Usually they'd take forever to light, but it only took me half an hour. Smoking the fish was pretty successful, so I decided to continue along with that and keep harvesting fish. I was going to need all that I could get. One cold night, I woke up to this loud rumbling sound, and it kept growing. Then as the rumbling grew louder and louder, the dam started to shake. I immediately felt earthquake, but when I went outside, I was met with really strong winds, and I flew right into a tree. When I hit the tree, I was immediately knocked up. When I woke up, all I saw was complete carnage. My dam was destroyed, as well as my smoking hut. The fire was out, and fish inside were dirty and ruined. I had to start right back at the beginning. For the most part, my fish trap was still intact. I started to, with building my dam. Again. I was going to need that before the smokehouse. When I was done that, I built another fire and another smokehouse. After a couple of days of good harvesting, I woke up to the sound of a raven rustling through my fish barrels in my dam. I cracked open the door to the storage room and scared the raven off. It flew out and away from the dam. I went back to see how the raven got in, and I found that it had pecked a hole into the storage room through the roof. Damn. I quickly repaired the hole. Over the next couple of days, I have been experiencing headaches, as well as seeing the raven a couple of times. After the headaches didn't go away, I took a look at the pond to see my reflection, and guess what I saw? I saw antlers coming out of my head. Today, the raven attacked me when I was fishing. It swooped in and scratched me, and grabbed a fish I had caught. I decided to sharpen my antlers to see if I could spear it or something. The next time I saw the raven, it swooped down towards me. I stuck out my antlers, and I felt my head gain weight almost instantly. I had finally killed that raven, and I didn't have to worry about my fish stock for winter. I built a chimney in my dam in hopes of someone seeing the smoke and coming to see what's up. And finally, these government people showed up today. They took me to the secret laboratory and ran a bunch of tests on me. I was told that the beaver government wanted to see if we could still revert back to our wild ways. And I was randomly chosen, just like countless other beavers, to be dropped into the wilderness with nothing. And they watched me to see if I could survive. Going back to regular society was really hard. I could never get back to what I once was, and I almost felt like an alien. I never felt at home in my own home. So I decided to go back to the location where I was.